This is a TCEA remote learning video. This video is part two to our Google Classroom series. We will be learning how to insert content in the stream. My name is Jennifer Berglund. I'm the Director of Government Relations for TCEA. I also do some training for the association. You can reach me at jberglund at tca.org or you can follow me on Twitter at jberglund. Let's quickly look at what we're going to be talking about in this video. First of all, I want to, to recognize that there are four different parts to a Google Classroom. There's the stream, there's the classwork area, there is the people, which includes the teachers and the students, and then there's the grading portion of it. We are going to be looking at the stream in this video and how to insert content in that stream and what's in what kind of content is in there. When you are creating content, there are four basic components to that content. First of all, who are you assigning the work to? Who is it to one class or multiple classes? Is it all of your students, one student or several students. And then what's the content? What are you sharing or what are you asking of your students in this um, post? And then when are you going to post it? Are you going to do it now? Are you going to do it later? Or are you going to set it aside as a draft to be able to assign when you're ready for that one moment? And then lastly, is there an attachment? that you want to connect to this content. So let's go to our Google Classroom and learn how to, to create content in the stream. So here you see um, I have seven different classrooms in my Google Classroom that are active and I'm going to cl click on test new classroom features and we're going to use this as our area. Now notice that I know that I'm in my stream because there is this um, underline underneath the word stream. <clears throat> this is my stream and you'll notice that as I go through here, a lot of it is just announcing that I have posted a new assignment. And so every time you post an assignment, Google Classroom is automatically going to create a post letting someone know that um, the teacher has posted something in here. And so you pretty much that is a, a lot of what's in my stream right now. The stream is just kind of where those kind of announcements um, are easily read and so that it it's not uh, mixed in with the actual class classwork, which is what is over here. These are actually assignments that have been posted. And when I created them, they generated one of these announcements. But you can also post um, questions or provide other kinds of information in a in your stream. So let's just very briefly look at how to do that. So in order to get started with that, you're going to click right here where it says share something with your class. So I'm going to click on that and up opens this dialog box, which gives me the options. First of all, here's where I decide if I am going to assign this to one class or multiple classes. This is especially um, useful if you're a secondary teacher and you teach the same, you teach um, one class, but you have different sessions. Um, like maybe you teach it three different days, three different periods. And so you can um, assign this to all three of those um, periods. But this one is just going to one particular classroom. Here is an option where I can assign this, um, this comment or this question or whatever I'm posting in the stream, and I can send it to all of my students, or I could send it to just a, a few select um, students. For instance, what if I noticed that three of my students didn't turn in their homework? I could send a notice to them that just said, don't forget to get your homework into me. And it would only be in their stream. It wouldn't be in anybody else's stream. So just note that. Um, 
But do also note that if you did something like that and you selected three students, it would the, the, all three of those students would know that other students and they would know the names of the other students who also um, would get that because it gives you the ability to comment. And if they commented, then they would know who else was getting that. So just just note that. All right. So here is where you would type in your question or your notice or whatever. So for instance, just what if I wanted to just say, don't forget we have a test on Friday over the articles of Confederation. As you can tell, I'm a former history teacher. All right, now here, if I had a study sheet I could I could upload that study sheet or if I had a YouTube video that I wanted to watch, maybe I actually created a training of just a review. And and so um, they could watch that if they want. Or maybe there's a link to a website where I have some review material on it or maybe a file that I'm uploading from my computer. Um, over on the right, you can see that I have already um, select written some content so now I have the ability to post this and if I do it immediately drops into my students stream or I have the ability to schedule that so it might be that I'm not I'm not um, ready um, for for this announcement to, to come in today um, I might want it to actually pop in um, on April 1st and so that might be what I want to do instead. But I can go ahead and schedule the exact date and time that I want this to appear in my students stream. Or I could save it as a draft. And I um, this is a useful um, way of going ahead, getting the assignment all set up or getting the announcement all set up and then dropping it into your stream when you're ready for that to happen. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and post that so that you can see what that looks like. So it's going to come in here and it's immediately going to be seen by my students. Note that I still have some options. I can edit it. I can delete it or I can even copy a link if I want to um, um, have that link and post it somewhere. Um, I want to show you what one looks like um, that I did earlier. Um, this is a question where I just said, how was your weekend? And my students, um, I had two students that replied to that. One of them said, it was okay. My little brother really got on my nerves. He has absolutely no common sense. And then Daisy May Librarian told me that she read two novels and thought of a new project for her makerspace. So this just kind of shows you what it looks like when my students comment. Now I could click on this right here where it says two class comments and it, it moves it to where now I only see one. If I click on that, all of the comments. So if I had like 30 students, it would, um, um, make it smaller on the screen, but then I can click on that and see all of them. And notice here, I can reply to this comment and I can say, um, I am so sorry. I hate it when that happens. And now notice that it has his um, email address with a little plus mark and that means he's going to get a notification that I have responded to him but it also lets him lets people know who I've responded to so that's it um, that shows you how to um, access your stream also how to um, create content that um, you want your students to see